Hello. I'm Dr. Amir. Welcome to today's health session. Today we will discuss a medical condition known as high blood pressure. Before we start our session, it is requested to kindly subscribe to the channel and share in your community for health awareness. Dr. Amir, what is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of arteries. It's measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and expressed as two values, systolic, higher, and diastolic, lower, pressure. Dr. Amir, what is normal blood pressure? Normal range is around 120 mmHg. Dr. Amir, what is high blood pressure? High blood pressure, or hypertension, occurs when the force of blood against artery walls is consistently too high. It's often called a silent killer as it may have no symptoms initially but can damage arteries and lead to serious health problems like heart disease, stroke, and kidney damage if not controlled. Dr. Amir, how do I know I have high blood pressure? You can determine if you have high blood pressure by getting it measured by a healthcare professional. Regular blood pressure checks are important, especially if you have risk factors like obesity, family history, or certain medical conditions. High blood pressure often has no noticeable symptoms, so routine monitoring is crucial for early detection and management. Dr. Amir, what are the causes of high blood pressure? High blood pressure can be caused by various factors, including Lifestyle choices, unhealthy habits like a diet high in salt, lack of physical activity, excessive alcohol consumption, and smoking can contribute. Genetics Family history of hypertension can increase the risk. Age, blood pressure tends to increase with age. Obesity, being overweight or obese puts extra strain on the heart and blood vessels. Stress, chronic stress can temporarily raise blood pressure. Chronic conditions, conditions like kidney disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea can contribute. Hormones, hormonal imbalances, such as those in conditions like Cushing syndrome or thyroid disorders, can be a factor. Certain medications, some medications, such as birth control pills, decongestants, and NSAIDs, can raise blood pressure. Unhealthy diet, high intake of processed foods, saturated fats, and low intake of fruits and vegetables can play a role. Sodium sensitivity, some individuals are more sensitive to the effects of sodium, salt, on blood pressure. Managing these factors through a healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, and, if necessary, medication, can help control high blood pressure. Dr. Amir, what are the first aids for low blood pressure? If someone is experiencing low blood pressure symptoms, lay them down and elevate their legs slightly. Keep them warm and comfortable. Provide fluids and, if conscious, have them consume a small amount of salty water. If symptoms worsen or they lose consciousness, seek medical help promptly. Dr. Amir, what is the treatment of high blood pressure? Treatment of high blood pressure typically involves lifestyle changes like a balanced diet, regular exercise, weight management. Reduced sodium intake, 
limited alcohol consumption, and stress management. If necessary, doctors may prescribe antihypertensive medications to help control blood pressure and reduce the risk of complications like heart disease and stroke. Dr. Amir, do children also affect blood pressure? Yes, children can have high blood pressure, known as pediatric hypertension. It can be caused by factors like genetics, obesity, kidney problems, or certain medical conditions. Uncontrolled hypertension in children can lead to organ damage, so early diagnosis, lifestyle changes, and medical management are important to prevent complications. Dr. Amir, why hypertension happens? Pregnancy hypertension, or gestational hypertension, refers to high blood pressure that develops during pregnancy, typically after the 20th week. It can lead to complications for both the mother and baby, including preeclampsia, a more severe condition characterized by high blood pressure and organ damage. Regular prenatal care is crucial for monitoring and managing pregnancy hypertension. Dr. Amir, does blood pressure affect my baby during pregnancy? Yes, high blood pressure during pregnancy can affect the baby. It increases the risk of preterm birth, low birth weight, and complications like preeclampsia, which can harm both mother and baby. Proper prenatal care, monitoring, and medical guidance are essential to ensure a healthy pregnancy and baby. Dr. Amir, what are the effects of high blood pressure on diabetic patients? High blood pressure can have significant effects on diabetic patients. It increases the risk of diabetic complications, such as kidney disease, heart disease, stroke, and eye problems. Managing blood pressure is crucial for overall health in diabetic individuals. Tight control of both blood pressure and blood sugar levels can help prevent these complications. Dr. Amir, does high blood pressure affect my sexual health? Yes, uncontrolled high blood pressure can affect sexual health. It can lead to erectile dysfunction in men and decreased sexual desire in both men and women. The narrowing of blood vessels due to hypertension can restrict blood flow, impacting sexual performance. Managing blood pressure can help mitigate these effects. Thank you, Dr. Amir. It was wonderful knowledge shared with everyone. I wish to see you on another health topic. Goodbye and remember, control today for a healthier tomorrow. Manage your blood pressure.